Hey guys, it is a Monday and I am off schedule with the vlog. I apologize. The planning and running our home show thing got so crazy, which it was super successful and we had a great turnout. We had like 38 people come, um, which was great, but things got a little crazy and I didn't really have time to do the vlog. So I'm actually here on my day off today to doctor and tack walk the lovely creature. So I figured I would catch you guys up since he had his vet recheck on Friday and um, we're just trying to get a grip on life and get back into the swing of things. Hey buddy. So the lovely princess had his recheck with the vet on Friday. Unfortunately, the check ligament is still pretty swollen. So she said two more weeks of cold hosing and tack walking and we will re-ultrasound in two weeks. I, um, I had her shock wave it, which I'll throw a little clip in here. Um, I've just heard that that could help, so I decided to try that this week since I'm hoping to kind of move everything along. You know, we're super close to the season now and I kind of just need to know like what that looks like for me. Um, so, we'll see. But. After the shockwave, it got really swollen and puffy, but apparently that's normal with shockwave. I'm not really familiar with shockwave. I just had read that it could potentially help, so that was kind of something I did to just throw the kitchen sink at it and spend some more money. I'm going to cold hose him after I ride today, just since I want to kind of get to it since it's my day off and I have other things to take care of, unfortunately. To add to his list of ways he's being a problem child, I noticed he had started coughing about a week ago. I kind of thought it was allergies. It seemed uh, allergy based. His eyes were getting watery and he clearly was like hacking. So I started him on some Zyrtec. That didn't seem to help. So he had been on the Zyrtec for a week when the vet came for his recheck and so I had the vet look at him and they did all these funny breathing things with him, which he hated, but apparently he has pretty severe allergies, who knew? So he's on some antibiotics right now and some uh, cough throat syrup and Zyrtec. So he's just becoming quite the, uh, quite the bucket of medications right now as we've been going down this road. So it's been so fun and I'm just having such a great time, which is sarcasm. I'm pretty exhausted. Honestly, I've been a little burnt out feeling like I can't ride and um, you know, my personal life is a little overwhelming right now for other reasons, but it's just been a little all consuming and he's not making things any easier. Uh, which I don't really appreciate, but that's life and horses. If you are someone that owns a horse or works around horses, you know that is typical how horses go, which is annoying and unfortunate, but life. So here we are. I am just going to uh, wait for his beamer session to finish, uh, brush and condition his mane and tail and pick his feet. Uh, since we're standing here, he's actually quite cleanly looking today. Hi, I'm sorry I didn't bring you any Pop-Tarts, but I missed you. I have to say, he's been 
such good therapy through this all. Like I've been so down and emotional the last couple weeks just from my life and him and he is just he's the true <laughs> the true hi but he is the true example of like an emotional support animal he's been so snuggly and soft and sweet with me and just understanding and i i love that about him do you want to do your carrot stretches you are the most handsome 20 year old shedding so bad. I'm like, how much longer are we going to do this? take this guy out for a tack walk. He's mad because they put a saddle on in the wash stall. And then uh, cold hosing and we're pretty much wrapped up here for the day. I know it's not a super exciting vlog but I wanted to catch you guys up kind of what's going on and uh, all my thoughts and feelings. <laughs> Good to see you bud. So I deeply apologize, but in true Ride in Rome fashion, my microphone apparently was having some issues in the last couple of clips that I filmed. So I just wanted to really wrap up for you guys today. I'm cold hosing and um, letting him eat some grass and stuff, but I hope that was a good little catch up vlog. I have some other stuff to get done today and I promise to fill you guys in more on the following vlog. I'm going to clean up Rexy and do his little makeover before he leaves for a month of training and I'll get back in the groove this week. Thanks so much for always watching even when my life is chaos. I'll see you guys soon.